What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you have not subscribed, please, this is the time to subscribe and get yourself in a better position. If you are new and you are just stepping into this new world of information when it comes down to say money in 2020 and carrying on because it's COVID, I am pretty sure, you know, was a big wake up call to a lot of people out there in the United States and other countries, I'm pretty sure. Um, just subscribe, you know? About to get your mindset right but my name is art guys i am the creator of the art of saving money you know teaching you how to save money in the new world which is 2020 2021 and so on because you guys there's just no other way to put it this is the real way but today we're going to be talking about you know um my wife or my girlfriend does not understand how i'm trying to save money so how can you Put that into a perspective for them or vice versa you know if your boyfriend or husband is not really in line with your saving and finance goals this is one way to actually just do it you know and guys look in a relationship you guys gotta have a mutual agreement with most things you know it's not like you can just do one thing you know for one person and just do that and then with another person you know just do that too you got to really understand where both of you guys are trying to go in this life together you know because if you're with someone it's kind of like what are we trying to do why are we together right and a lot of it has to do with finance you guys got to be in the same mindset with finance both of you are either broke mindset where both of you want to move up in life want to do bigger things but keep doing broke people shit. You know, both of you have no idea how to save. You guys keep fucking going out. You guys keep fucking traveling like, like, you know, like you're rich. You know, which is, that's what rich people do. All they do is fucking travel, you know, eat at fancy places. And that's why they stay broke. Especially people that start from zero. You know what I'm saying? So if you're starting from zero, you're trying to build up. You just got to learn to say no to each other period you know if if the other person wants to do something and you the other person wants to you know save money you gotta learn to say no you're gonna you know you gotta educate them on your goals you know you gotta have that wealthy relationship with yourself and your significant other you, you gotta really put that into perspective for that other person because if they don't grasp the concept of your goals you know, they're always going to keep pushing you and nagging you. And if it just turns out toxic because that person wants to fucking keep going out and wasting their fucking money on dumb shit. You know, it's just better if you just don't date someone like that. Because people that can't be changed or, you know, talked sense into when it comes down to finance. It's just always going to be a fucked up time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like your entire life. Like... That's why I'm assuming you're dating someone, right? Because you're trying to spend your life with them, I'm assuming. So, um, fuck that, you know? Like, have some perspective. Like, what does it take to get to wealth? How, how, what does it take to, you know, attain the things that we want to attain together? So, I believe in that, guys. You got to say no, even if it hurts. You know, a lot of you guys that are out there fucking broke buying Louis V bags for your fucking girlfriends or, you know, giving them fucking $200 roses. Like, stop. Stop fucking doing that. Like, fuck if they get mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, it might sound like some asshole shit, but it's the fucking truth. Guys, and I'm only saying this because I'm in a position to say this because I know my money is up. You know what I'm saying? So, don't do that, guys. Like... Be more mindful, I guess. Like, come up with better ideas to satisfy those needs or, you know, just do things that that she would or he would probably appreciate more than, than a, an expensive gift or an expensive uh, vacation. Like, why do these things have to be the thing that that would probably mean the be the most to that person like it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't especially if you're trying to save money you're trying to save money like it just doesn't work like it shouldn't work like that 
You're always gonna be broke. You're always gonna be back to step one. And guys, like, fuck, I'm trying to get you guys to move your, your fucking money up. You know what I'm saying? So guys, please take this into consideration. Like, have that talk. Sit down, have some coffee. If anything, go to a fucking restaurant, sit down and talk about how, you know, this is gonna be our last restaurant meal. Like, we need to talk about where my finances are going. How are we working on this shit together? Like, we need to get our fucking heads right. You know, like, we're in this life together. So, have that shit in mind, guys. Don't, don't go broke because you're trying to please. I always, I always talk about this. Stop trying to go broke to please people. You know, like, we overthink this shit way too much. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. That $20,000 engagement ring is not that deep. It just fucking isn't. I, I, don't, I don't know who told you that's part of the fucking plan. Like, like, people in society have put these fucking ideas together and are making people broke because their ideologies are, this is what... My, my mom did, and this is what my dad did, so I'm gonna do that. Like, dude, this is what my friends are doing, you know? Yeah, your friends are fucking broke, and now they're in fucking $40,000 debt because they decided to buy a fucking engagement ring they can't afford, and a wedding they can't afford. Like, why? So you can have people that don't even visit you or call you on a daily to come to that wedding so they can just eat your food, and dude, I can, go, I can go on and on about this shit, but you know, this is a reality. The reality sucks. The reality is hard. The reality is asshole. And I don't know how else to put it. If you wanna save money, you gotta save money. That's it. There's, there's no other way. I'm gonna put my fucking hood on because I feel like a freaking Jedi right now. This is totally different. No, no different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. Alright, I'll give it a try. No! Try not! Do! Or do not! There is no try. <sighs> Guys, please take this serious. Like if you if you wanna move up in life, if you wanna have better financial stability, if you wanna create that real financial freedom. It's all about not being tied to anything, not being tied to a fucking loan. Some people out there take out loans with 10% interest rates to fucking go do shit. Like, I don't get it, bro. I, I really don't get it, you know? Now you can be like, it's my life, or the fuck you talking about? Like, dude, okay, well, don't complain when you're fucking broke. Like, it just comes down to that. And then five years later, you're gonna grasp the concept. Oh yeah, you know what? Art was right, you know? He, he fucking, he makes sense now, of course. You know, and, and guys, just save your money, have that talk. If you're dating someone, you know, that's financially toxic or doesn't know shit about money, but you have an idea of how money should be played, I fuck with you, like, you, I, I understand you, you know? Um, and not, not saying that I'm going through that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, um, it's always good to have a partner that aligns with your financial goals. And that's the only reason why um, me and my partner are always good because we just have financial goals together, you know? And you gotta find someone or get them aligned with those goals. You know, you don't have to break up with that person. You, I think the only way you would ever break up with someone or call it quits is if they really are fucked up in the head about saving money, they're delusional, you know? Someone that wants goals but is spending their money, going to Cabo, you know, doing shit they can't afford, like, it just makes no sense. Never will, not, not in the right mind. Maybe if you came up, you know, with some disability money or something, but even then, why the fuck would I spend my disability money or, you know, um, something crazy like that? And inherence on, on something dumb like that. It just makes no sense. Invest that shit, create wealth, create leverage, financial freedom, financial freedom, guys. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it brought you value and some perspective. If, if, it, if it resonated with you, I hopefully it brought you a 
lot more value to you because then that means that you kind of understood what I was talking about and you just needed that affirmation. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because these talks are real. They hurt people sometimes and it should hurt in a good way, in a, in a, in a growth way. You know, you should really grasp that concept and put that shit into practicality, which is to act on it, you know? And that's what I'm all about, acting on shit, saying I'm gonna do the things that I'm gonna do and say, you know? So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Oh,